Hello Curlies, it's Mary and thank you for tuning in once more to The Curly Closet. So today's video is going to be a weight loss journey update. So the last update that I did was about me falling off the wagon essentially. Um, I somewhat got back on the wagon but not completely. So I think the first thing I'll report on is my actual weight. So when I started in January my weight was 13 stone, 5 and 3 quarters. The second to last weigh-in that I had was I was 12 stone, 5 and 3 quarters. So basically I've lost the stone and then it went up by 1 pound so 12 stone, 6 and 3 quarters. Yes, but essentially um, I have lost 13 to 14 pounds so I basically have lost a stone of weight since January which is an achievement which I'm very proud of myself for I still feel like I need to carry on and I need to continue but for me personally especially the way that my life is at the moment which is quite hectic at times um, actually having lost a stone over a slow period of time is not a bad thing at all I prefer to do it gradually than to really rush in and then just fall back into really bad habits now with regards to Weight Watchers, I am still going to continue on Weight Watchers, however I have decided that it's just not practical for me to be doing meetings and online together because since January I've been, I've been signed up and I've done meetings and online but I've never actually been to any of the meetings so I've actually switched my plan to just an online plan because that way I can still use the app, I can still track my food and so on. Um, but I don't have to, there's no point in paying for attending meetings if I'm not even going to attend any meetings. So. Now I must admit I've gotten quite lazy about tracking my food um, but also um, I realise as well there's something else that happens with me and food which has had an impact. So I've noticed that, if you didn't know, I live with my mum and dad, I live with my parents and of course they they're not following the same plan of food as I am. So whenever I buy my own food to eat at home, I notice my weight always drops. But whenever I just kind of default fall into the pattern of just eating whatever's around at home, that's when my weight tends to either stagnate or go back up. So um, I'm going to be trying to get into the habit of continuously buying my own food and eating my own food um, because that just tends to keep me within a space of keeping good habits. Another thing that I feel like I need to work on more is definitely exercise. Um, I have incorporated a lot more walking into um, my daily life um, but I still feel like I can definitely do more where exercise is concerned so that's something that I want to work on even if it's just once or twice a week but slowly easing it into my routine that's really important for me right now. So from here on my goal with regards to weight loss is basically to just keep losing weight. Um, I don't mind if I lose a couple of pounds at a time as long as I'm thinking by maybe July or August if I could have dropped another stone that would be I would be really happy with that um, I have noticed overall that I feel a lot better in myself I don't feel as heavy as I used to um, some of my clothes are fitting me better as well um, and just generally I just feel a lot more together um, a bit more uh, agile and not so heavy and that's definitely a good thing I have been trying to stick to not eating late and not, um, not eating say two to three hours before I go to bed and that works really well for me. I've also kind of got gotten into the habit of I tend to eat maybe two meals a day with some snacks in between um, but I haven't, I've, I feel like I've gotten out of the habit of actually eating three big meals a day. Um, usually if I eat two big meals and I have snacks of uh, fruit or whatever in between I tend to feel completely fine. I feel like I've completely gotten out of the habit of eating really late and even I, I've done it once or twice and actually felt not so great. So I feel like it's it's actually helped me to kind of establish better eating habits overall. Um, and so I'm considering maybe switching to the no count plan. So on Weight Watchers, the no count plan is basically you have a list of foods 
that you can just eat as much of as you like. You don't have to track points. You don't have to worry about smart points at all. Basically, if the food is on the list, you can eat it and you can eat it whenever you like. Um, for some people, no count works really well because they just know, okay, I can eat these foods and I don't have to worry about counting anything. I'm considering whether I want to switch to that plan because I feel like it might fit into my lifestyle a lot better. Um, but if I do decide to switch to that, then I will update you guys and let you guys know. So basically that is it. This has been a very, very quick update. Thank you so much for watching. How has your weight loss been going since the beginning of 2017? I'd really like to know. I appreciate you guys so much for all the positive comments and uplifting comments that you made on my last video. Thank you for the encouragement. You guys were so encouraging to me and I really, really appreciate it from you guys. So yeah, update me, let me know what's going on. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, um, if you would like to share this video with anyone you know who's trying to lose weight, then you can definitely share it. Go ahead and share as much as you like. Um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.